identify if list has consecutive elements that are equal. I'm trying to identify if a large list has consecutive elements that are the same. So let's say. And in this case, I would return true, since there are two consecutive elements LSD4 and LSD5 are the same value. I know this could probably be done with some sort of combination of loops, but I was wondering if there were a more efficient way to do this. You can use itertools.groupy and a generator expression within any. Or as a more Pythonic way you can use zip in order to check if at least there are two equal consecutive items in your list. Note, the first approach is good when you want to check if there are more than two consecutive equal items, otherwise, in this case the second one takes the cake. Using someone for underscore in G instead of len list G is very optimized in terms of memory use, not reading the whole list in memory at once, but the latter is slightly faster. You can use a simple any condition. Any return true if any of the iterable elements are true. If you're looking for an efficient way of doing this and the lists are numerical, you would probably want to use NumPy and apply the diff, difference, function. Then to get a single result regarding whether there are any consecutive elements. This first performs the diff, inverts the answer, and then checks if any of the resulting elements are non-zero. Similarly, also works well and is similar in speed to the np.any approach, credit for this last version to Heracho. Here a more general NumPy one-liner. This method always searches the whole array, while the approach from a Cosrum dins when the condition is first met. So which method is faster depends on how sparse those cases of consecutive numbers are. If you are interested in the positions of the consecutive numbers, and have to look at all elements of the array this approach should be faster, for larger arrays or slash and longer sequences. If you are not interested in a specific value but at all consecutive numbers in general a slight variation of Etchmetz's answer. Thank you.